welcome back to my channel and happy turkey day so i am currently filming this right on thanksgiving morning i got my sweet potato crunch in the oven so i got 45 minutes to talk to y'all <laughs> anyway i thought we would talk about some new releases coming out in the male male romance category i've been getting uh, a couple requests for more male male romance videos so that makes me super happy that there are other people in the world that are um definitely interested in male male romance uh, content so uh, today we're gonna be talking about some new releases that I have had my eye on since October that I have not read yet but I've been making me a list since October um, and there's even one on my list that is not gonna come out until January and I'm sure there's gonna be more to come um, but I'll just keep writing them down and we'll talk about them as I get myself a good little collection so I have about 15 books um, just to mention, we're not going to go into much detail about them because I actually don't know much about them at all. They're either just automatic read authors for me, uh, like Riley Hart, Devin McCormick, um, Annabeth Albert, Serena Bowen, you know, those type of, of authors that I, it, it doesn't matter what the book is about. I'm, I'm going to read it. <laughs> um, there, and there are a few other authors that I have not read and that the book just sounds intriguing. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Now I've made me a good, a uh, Goodreads list on my page. So if you want to go check out all these books that I talk about today, and there may be some other ones on there too, that I don't talk about, talk about today. Eventually, um, I have a category, a shelf that says male, male romance. So just click on that shelf and it'll bring you to all these books if you want to check them out for yourself. So we'll start for the month of October. The beginning of October, October 9th, K.M. Newhold came out with a new book. As you know, I've read her um, Bears, her Construction Bears series. Uh, I absolutely loved it and I know for sure she's coming out with some more books for that series. So I can't wait for that. But she came out with Painted Lace. I just love the cover the colorful cover of of this book again kind of an automatic author for me so i don't really know much about this book other than i love the cover and i appreciate the author it says this is a standalone story and originally published as kiss and run in the valentine's inc series so it is in apparently in a series but it can be read as a standalone i'm gonna read it as a standalone it says, Austin never realized he was painting his life with shades of gray until Keaton came along and injected a rainbow of color. Keaton is a tornado of chaos and paint, which turns out to be more exciting than I ever would have imagined. I love organized, predictable life, or at least I thought I did. But what started as a casual hookup is slowly becoming so much more, and I find myself loving the beautiful mess more than I expected. Can two people so different really make it work once feelings get involved? So that's Painted Lace by K.M. Newhold, and it's already out, came out October 9th. Next October release, this was released on October 14th. This is Rough Contact by Beth Bolden. I've never read anything from this author. The book already has a 4.25 star rating on Goodreads, so I'm super excited. It sounded really, really good. Uh, it states, their romance is forbidden, their love is a secret. Neil Fisher knows heartbreak. It's the clock ticking down in the Super Bowl. It's missing the most important field goal of his life. It's losing everything, his 13-year career as an NFL kicker, his future, and his pride. So it looks like it's going to be a sports male belt romance, which is actually one of my favorites. Jamie Wright knows love. It's everything on the line as the crowd holds the, their breath. It's a perfect kick as the ball soars through the goalposts. It's NFL fame and glory laid out before him. Neil is on his way out and Jamie, if he can withstand the tryout pressure, is on his way in. The one person Jamie should avoid is the veteran kicker, and the last thing Neil wants is to sink Jamie's chances, but a chance meeting and a wild and undeniable chemistry proves to be irresistible. Neil thought he knew heartbreak. Jamie thought he knew love. They were both wrong. Their romance is forbidden. Their love is a secret. Sounds super cute. I love a good forbidden 
sports romance. So I can't wait to get into that one. Next October release was released on October 23rd. This is Hook Up at the Library. Now this is the number three book in the Shelby Beach series by Skylar M. Cates. Also an author I've never read before and I don't know anything about the series. I just ran across this book. The synopsis sounded really good and I put it on my list. I'm going to try it out as a standalone and see how it goes and I'll let y'all know. But it says, longing to escape a terrible work day when the opportunity for a hookup with a stranger arrives, Mateo goes for it. Unfortunately, it ends up badly, really badly. Worse, when Mateo confronts the hookup a few months later, he challenges the wrong guy. Oops. Levi is determined to find his no good brother, but he never expects to need the help of one flabbergasted and adorable small town librarian in a bow tie. As the two embark on a friendship, Levi slowly lets go of past hurts and opens his heart to Mateo, and the intensity between them builds. Mateo isn't usually assertive, but he finds his voice with Levi. Finally free to be himself, Levi welcomes this new feeling of being desired. It just sounded really cute. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I skipped over this one. This one was released October 8th. Uh, it's The Sex Coach by Garrett Lee. Garrett Lee is kind of another uh, author. I've read him before, but just not many times, but I do like his, his books. This one states, The Sex Coach is a male-male summer romance with first times, a virgin stable hand, a single dad Pilates teacher, and guaranteed happy endings. Sounds super cute. The teacher and the student, the stable hand, and the single dad. First times... And, real, and friendship turn to love. So we, we are going to follow Toby. There's nothing attractive about a 24-year-old virgin, especially not one who blushes every time a hot dude looks his way. But I can't help the heat that ripples through me every time I see Cole McGuire. And the clench of my heart when I realize how unhappy he is. He's a city boy with a baby on his hip. We have nothing in common, but if he can teach me how to own my sexuality, perhaps I can teach him he's worth loving. And then Cole, I don't like horses, but I love my daughter and there's nothing I won't do for her, including leaving the city for a life on a farm. I'm ready for that, but I'm not ready for blushing stable hands who make my heart race and my blood run hot. Toby has no idea how beautiful he is. I can teach him that if he can handle the heat. But after one night with him, damn. <laughs> I really like that synopsis. Uh, this, this one's going to be fun. I can't wait. Next, we have an October 27th release. Now, this one I probably mentioned before because I've already read the first book in the series. And I highly recommend it. It is super fun, lighthearted. Just a super fun male male romance. A very good series to start if you're just getting into the genre. This is the second book to the Licking Thicket uh, series called Liars by Lucy Lennox and May Archer. Lucy Lennox is another one of my auto-read authors. So I don't know what this one is about. I, I, I've read the synopsis before and I think it's about two different characters that we maybe weren't introduced to in the first book. So this could possibly be read as a standalone. Um, let's see what it says. There's nothing hotter than a tall, gruff, bewildered, tattoo mountain of a man cuddling a sweet, orphaned baby so you can tell yourself that you'll resist him. But that's a lie. And when that man asks you to do him a favor and pretend to be his very temporary, very fake fiancé to help him get custody of that adorable baby, you can pretend you know better than to stay yes. But that's a lie, too. And when you finally get to know your kind, strong, and loving prince of a, of a fiancé and all his crazy, lovable, meddling neighbors, you can tell yourself you're not really falling for Diesel Church and the town of Licking Thicket. So, so cute. Okay, yeah, Diesel was introduced in the first book, but very minor. Um, he was, uh, I believe, like the owner, he owned like a junkyard of some sorts. And he was kind of mixed into the mix of the book in the first in the first one, but I really don't think you would need to read the first one if you want to just jump into the second one. Moving on to November, this came out November first. This is gifts of gifts for the season. This is actually a charity anthology from your favorite male male romance authors. So we have R.J. Scott. Annabeth Albert, Joanne Chambers, Eli Easton, Suki Fleet, Le Lane Hayes, 
Annabeth Jacobs and Alex Jane. Of course, I've heard of most of these, but um, some of these are new to me, but this is definitely on my list. I actually want to purchase the hardcover uh, for this book uh, just to help the, the charity that um, they are doing the book for. Great stories from great authors. I'm gonna definitely read this one. Next November release was November 8th, and this is Watch Me by Sloan Kennedy. Sloan Kennedy is definitely another auto-read author for me. This one has a super, super long synopsis. I've, I've read it. It has to do with a very successful businessman and possibly his bodyguard. So um, I'm not gonna read it. If you wanna go check it out, it's super long, so I don't wanna I don't want to waste your time uh, reading all of that, but it sounds really good. Uh, and again, Sloan Kennedy is a fantastic author. Next November release is November 16th. This one came out. This one's called First, and this is the first one in a new series by Casey Cox. I've never read anything from this author. Um, it is the 99 Daddy series. So again, another long synopsis, but this one has to do with a, um, you know, a the whole daddy vibes. So we have Mikey Harrison. Uh, he is wanting to find the right daddy for him. And then we have Sterling Bishop, who um, is kind of his first time into the whole daddy relationship. He craves it, but he doesn't seem to be able to find um, the right one for him. Uh, it does say at the bottom, first is a daddy light gay romance featuring a strong, silent, first time daddy and an eager boy who can show him the way. Sounds interesting. I'm going to check it out. Next up in November releases was on November 17th, we have Cupcakes and Christmas by RJ Scott. Again, RJ Scott, automatic read author. Um, and I was kind of feeling in the Christmassy mood when um, you'll notice a, a, another book I wrote down, but I was kind of feeling it. So I went ahead and I put it on my list, but I don't really know much about it. It says the story of long nights in a wintry mountain hotel, a baking show with secrets, a snowman called Jeremy, and finding the greatest love of all. Once again, it's a very long synopsis, so I won't waste your time, but um, I definitely want to read it in the month of December. Now this next book was released November 18th. This one really surprised me. I actually just recently came across this one. I had no idea this author put this out because I, I've actually never read, truly read anything by this author. This is a one time only by Lauren Blakely. I actually tried a book of hers before and just found it just to be too, I don't know, the, the main character was too much about himself and but it was a you know it was a male female romance and I just I wasn't into it but when I saw she came out with a male male romance I figured I'd give it a shot so we'll see um it says a fiery passionate male male romance novel from number one New York Times bestselling author Lauren Blakely ever hear the story about the bodyguard who falls for the rock star absolutely <laughs> So nothing really new there in the plot, but I still want to read it um, be because once again, Male Male Romance by Lauren Blakely. She's known for her male-female romances. I definitely want to give it a go. It says, yeah, it never ends well. Each day I remember myself that it's my job to protect Stone. And nowhere in the job description does it say I should lust after a charismatic, charming man especially since we're opposites. But every night I spend with him, the dangerous off-limits attraction grows more intense. Until one night in a limo when we combust. One time only will have to be enough, one scorching forbidden night. Because the mistakes from the past are chasing me and if I give in again, I'll lose everything. We'll see how it goes. Another Christmas release for you. This was released November 19th. This is Merry Cherry Christmas by Kira Andrews. I've read a couple books by her. Uh, really enjoyed her writing. This one says Merry Cherry Christmas is a feel good holiday male male romance from Kira Andrews featuring a nervous nerd and protective jealous jock. Forced proximity, first times, and of course a happy ending. I love first times. Now this next one, this was also released on November 19th. This is No Good Mitchell by Riley Hart and Devin McCormick. This duo, 
perfect, like the perfect duo of writing a male male romance next to, of course, Serena Bowen and Sloan Kennedy. I love so many books in the past by these two authors, com especially combined. I think they have like a Metropolitan series. Um, I think the, I want to say the first book is Faking It. That whole series is so much fun. I highly recommend it. So I was so looking forward to this book uh, coming out. Once again, it has a super long synopsis. The first word says, so we're going to be following Brody and Cohen. And Brody states, a night on the town after a long work week at my family's distillery should include shots and dancing. Not a hot kiss with a handsome stranger. I'm straight. At least that's what I figured until I find myself locking lips with a sexy city boy. And then we have Cohen. I never expected to inherit a distillery from a father I have never known. That's how I find myself in a tiny Georgia town where everyone knows a family history I've been kept in the dark about. Maybe I shouldn't like Brody O'Reilly, but I didn't grow up with this, with this stupid family feud. I enjoy touching him, kissing him, and... I'm falling for the man with sweet southern charm. Oh my god, this is going to be fantastic. This next book I have been waiting for a long time for, but it's still kind of out on the table. The release date is supposed to be in November of 2020, but it has not been released yet. It even it doesn't even have a cover. But this is going to be the first book in the 10 series by Charlie Cochet. Charlie Cochet wrote the third series that I absolutely love. It's my favorite male male romance paranormal series. 10 is going to be a spinoff from that series and this is supposed to be the first book. It's titled Gone But Not Forgotten. I don't know what it's going to be about. I know it's going to definitely involve Sloan and Dex and their transition into 10. 10 is like basically up one from the thirds. I don't remember what it stands for, which is sad because I'm such a fan of, you know, Charlie Crochet and her third series. I should know what 10 stands for. I'm ecstatic and hopefully it comes out um, by the end of this month. But I mean, here we are Thanksgiving day and I don't know. I, I, I haven't heard anything. This is the first time, like, I just, I just saw this, like, this week. So, um, I'll just be keeping an eye out, and I'll let you know. All right, jumping into December. We have on December 3rd, that is releasing, but another book by Garrett Lee. This is Angels in the City. It says, a fake relationship with a stranger, an office romance with donuts and white knights. An addictive arrangement, friends with benefits, fast turns to love. It says Angels in the City is a Christmas themed male male friends to male male romance, friends to lovers, forced proximity, office romance, except expect fraught days, steamy nights, and true love built around festive snacks and Christmas trees. Next up in December, on December 4th, Kim Newhold is coming out with another book. And this is the start of another series by her called Perfect Boys. Um, and the first book is Pretty Boy. Uh, it says, Once upon a time in a little Texas town in the middle of nowhere, there lived a boy who everyone called ugly. When half your face is covered in a big blotchy birthmark, you get used to the staring and the whispers. You get used to feeling unwanted. One thing I love about Kim Newhold, she takes... Um, different characters and finds love for them and I love that about her books. Uh, it says Pretty Boy is a lowish angst steamy sweet daddy story with no age play. This next one I also just kind of recently found out about. This is Roommate by Serena Bowen. Once again another auto read author for me. It already has four stars on Goodreads and it hasn't even come out yet. It's supposed to come out in January of 2021. It says wanted one roommate to share a three bedroom house, split the rent and ideally not be the guy I can't stop thinking about and seeking a room to rent in town. I'm tidy, have no pets and I will feed you homemade bread. This one truly sounds super, super cute. Sort of a, a long synopsis so I won't I won't waste your time in reading it, but um, definitely go check it out on my Goodreads page under my Male Male Romance bookshelf. If you're a fan of Serena Bowen and her The Him, 
Him and Us series. Uh, I think you're definitely going to like this one. And last but not least, I debated on whether putting this on my list or not. It, I mean, it was on my list. It's not coming out till July 6 of 2021. This is Out of Character by Annabeth Albert. This is actually the second book in her True Color series. I read the first book, I believe, sometime over the summer, and that one was called Conventionally Yours. So this is like sort of like a gamer's uh, male male romance. It says it's friends to enemies to friends to lovers in this LGBTQIA plus romance for fans of red, white, and royal blue and the pros of cons. Hmm. Interesting. So in this book, I know we follow a character that we followed in um, her, her previous book, but we didn't get a lot from him. So I do believe this could probably be read as a standalone if you want to jump into this one, but it won't be out until July. 6th of 2021. All right, y'all, that is it. That's all I have on my list as of today. Um, but of course, the list, I'm sure, will continue to grow as more male male romances are released, um, either either for the still for the end of the year or throughout next year. So I will definitely keep y'all posted on that. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, hope y'all are having a happy, happy Thanksgiving or had a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe out there. Hugs from me all around. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.